What's up guys, it's me, Fall, and today I've got a commentary on is 343 I, 343 Industries, a laughing stock, or the, are they just late learners? Now, this is sort of going to go over 343 Industries, what they've done for, for Halo uh, in terms of the main games, like um, not the spin offs like Spartan Assault and stuff like that. But obviously, they started with Halo 4, and I'm not going to be talking much about this, but. Halo 4 was obviously quite a low point on the Halo timeline. Um, they made some huge big mistakes during that game, but we've seen them move on from that into the Halo 5 beta, but mistakes include loadouts. No one wanted loadouts. Some of the armor abilities were just damn right stupid. Um, like AR, just, just some of the stuff like just overall wasn't a good game off launch, especially with like the weapon timings didn't even exist at the start. However, after, well, not too long, uh, about a year ago today, they, um, or maybe not a year ago today, about like six, seven months ago today, they sat in front of a, a group of people at E3, and everyone is expecting Halo 2 Anniversary to come out, but they pulled it out of the bag. Not just Halo 2 Anniversary, but the Master Chief Collection with the Halo 5 beta. No... Uh, people were expecting it, yes, but not to this sort of scale. And of course, we are getting ODST in the future. Um, however, they they um, they promised some certain things which they have failed to deliver as of yet, and that is a ranking system. They've only got it in one playlist, and that is Halo 2 Anniversary. They haven't even got a ranked playlist in like Team Hardcore. Um, what? I do not understand how you can have a competitive game type of that a rank play uh, ranks to separate the good from the bad also they promised some spectator overlay on twitch which i have seen none of um i mean yes it probably isn't a number one priority right now but it was a great idea and i'd love to see it in the future i just say if you can't i don't know if they said it'll be available on launch but if you can't deliver it don't promise it matchmaking times of course didn't work but I'm not here to just bang on about the negatives. I'm here to drive, get us positive, get us going. One minute, one month after the Master Chief Collection came out, bang, Halo 5 Beta begins. And it was a huge, huge success. Well done, 343. Thumbs up. That's the gameplay you're watching right now. It was a great success. The arm abilities actually worked. New abilities like Clamber. Well, not, they're not even armor abilities. They're just Spartan abilities. They're just things that everyone has. Equal loadouts. The BR starts was amazing. New weapons, they're willing to pit push the boundaries, the Hydra. Maybe not everyone's favourite cup of tea, but it certainly was a step forward in the right direction for 343. Free. The search times were low. Search times didn't take absolute as long as you quit out of every game, bang, it search times were decent. They didn't take too long. The game modes were fun. Uh, breakout was new and refreshing. Strongholds was of course a a good idea, a good spin-off of um of territories which was in previous Halo games. Balanced weapons, all the start start weapons were equally as powerful as each other from close range. I may moan about the AR, but looking back, it was a good decision to do that. And of course a good ranking system. Each playlist had its own ranking system with good search times, different tiers, uh, pro, semi pro, onyx, gold, silver, bronze, iron, good tiers, clearly defined, and overall it was a very, very successful beta. Now, um, one month, almost a month after the beta's finished, no, 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 um, like two months since the game release, we're still looking, still looking at MCC, and we're, and we're wondering, we're wondering, or I'm wondering, if they managed to pull it off with Halo 5, why couldn't they do it with MCC? Maybe they pushed the game too early, which is of, which is probably the correct. I've heard uh, the correct outlook. I've heard a lot of people like you need to keep. I'll, because of a way that marketing works nowadays, with the availability of downloads and patches, developers can afford not to make a fixed game. They can afford to have some mistakes because they can just patch it later. But personally, I'd rather have MCC released a month, maybe two months later, and be working rather than two months earlier and just being almost impossible to play an online match and I'm not gonna hate on it because there are still some good things however obviously party searching does not work you get booed from parties a little bit too often for my liking um, but patches are being released however 
there was a time, I think it was before Halo 5 Guardians came out, they released a patch, and me and the EU, EU literally did absolutely not. It made it worse. It made it worse. How how can you release a patch that's supposed to fix matchmaking that makes the game worse? But that's neither here or there. They're, they're releasing patches now. But this is where 343 are starting to starting to understand a bit. They're releasing a beta for a patch. Now, it sounds ridiculous, but hear me out here. What they are willing to do is they are willing to trial run a patch that they are going to release to the public on MCC. They're willing to trial it first. Now, I obviously they haven't they have been trialing the previous patch before they're releasing because I'd be just stupid not to trial it. But they're obviously getting they're wanting feed, they're wanting support, and they're gonna I think this because it's a beta of a patch, they will be making a it'll be a big, big changes. So I hopefully it'll work. Of course search times will still be quite long, but I can certainly see it um certainly see it improving. Um, I'm fast running out of gameplays for uh, this because I haven't been playing much MCC recently. But I think after this patch is released, I think 343 Industries will be back on track. They proved it with Halo 5. I'm sure they can do. It, they can pull it out of the bag with MCC. So in reflection, and obviously 343 not a good start to the Halo franchise. However, they are, I believe, working their utmost to deliver the best possible experience for us even though i think they've got a bit unlucky in parts um they obviously started to do this stuff like the bulletin on the halo waypoint channel if you're not subscribed to that on youtube i uh thoroughly suggest you do it's actually really insightful onto what they're doing at the moment but so yeah free for free industries they're coming back they're coming back out the bag give it i i say i think all honesty i think Mid March, I give it mid March. I mean, if the game's not fixed by then, uh, I'm not gonna say I give up hope because I can guarantee I'll get to mid March and I'll be like, yeah, it still doesn't work. But nevertheless, guys, I believe in 343. Hopefully, you do too. Don't give up on Halo yet. They proved it with Halo 5. If you can't play MCC, just wait for Halo 5. It's gonna be an amazing game. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Like, uh, comment in the description box below. What do you think about? the 343 industries and what they're doing towards Halo. I personally agree obviously with what they're doing, they're working their asses off. Like, subscribe, tweet and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.